hello everyone welcome to ai anytime channel in this video we are going to explore the new large language model by google named Gemma. so google has released a new open source llm which is like like very surprise to me because they have been working with gemini earlier palm and things like that right but they are back with the open source ai and now they have launched a couple of models now one is Gemma 7b and the other is Gemma 2b now both Gemma 7b and Gemma 2b they also have a fine-tuned variant with that basically in the instruction tuned model of the same weights category so there are four models out there right now on that hugging face repository one is Gemma 7b which is the base model the other one is Gemma 7b instruction tuned then Gemma 2b and Gemma 2b instruction tuned let's have a quick look on what's happening on it right so this is available on hugging chat and right now it's not available you know to you because i have to request for the access but let's have a quick look on how we can you know use it and what kind of responses we are getting at least from the hugging chat because they have integrations with hugging chat vertex ai and things like that so let's have a quick look on that as well now excuse me now you can see this is where the hugging face blog is which we say is welcome Gemma Google's new open LLM and see Google, credit goes to Google right without Google it would have not been possible because you know they came up with transformers and they have a lot of other open source tools models products like tensorflow Jax, and things like that right so they are amazing by the way when it comes to open source as well but in the last few years they would have been focusing on the other products commercial products and things like that now you can see Philip uh, is part of this blog uh huge shout out to what he does for the community and this is a blog on hugging face which i think this is a this will be the single source for you if you want to learn about Gemma. the first thing that i want to show you that this is where the consent form is you have to request it's called Gemma access request you come here uh you have to you know read all of these things and then you have to accept this so let's accept it i'm accepting right now in a live video okay now once you've done it you can see you have been granted access to this model i am right now looking at Gemma 7b it instruction tune but if you right click and go to other models you will find out there are new release let me just have a look Gemma release on Gemma release you can find out Gemma 7b it Gemma 7b Gemma 2b it and Gemma 2b it means the instruction instruction tuned model now the 2b models can also be used on cpu as well if you want to do this on a cpu machine you will be able to do that as well that's what at least they are claiming now we'll see that 7b mainly on a consumer gpu and we'll try it out but you know let's come over here and first read the blog so if you see it says there are four models as i said they have not performed at least if we talk about Gemma 2b and compare with phi 2 which is like equivalent weights category Gemma 2 has not performed really well on the leaderboards, but of course we have to see that on the real world use cases. But Gemma 7b has performed a, you know, really good. If you see that with Llama 2 uh, 70b chat, that as a reference had been used, and you can see it has performed better. So Gemma 7b looks like a strong model, and we have to test it out on the other use cases. Now, you know, right now there is not much information available on, you know, MT bench, EQ bench, and other evaluation benchmarks. Right, we are right now exploring that. Now this is how the prompt format looks like you know we'll go into details a bit but the bad thing about i will say right now with Gemma models are that we don't have much information on what kind of data you know they have used to train this or what kind of composition and pre-processing techniques which have been used but from the technical reports the uh, major findings was that there have been some PII checks like you know person uh, personal identifiable information and then you know uh, CSAM content those explicit contents and things like that right they have some pre-processing techniques to handle those when they are before training that base model now there's not much information available on you know fine-tuning data sets by uh, you know Google on Gemma fine-tuned model you know what kind of hyperparameters they have used through SFT or RLHF or whatever right so these informations are not available you can see it says exploring the unknowns okay the demo is available here so first let's have a look now this is called hugging chat where you have a lot of integrations you can see if you click over here it says a lot of models that you that they have integrated with hugging chat now you can see it says Google Gemma 7 BIT let's ask the question I'm gonna ask first question what is 2 plus 2 so let's ask this question what is 2 plus 2 it says see the calculation is easy 2 plus 2 equals to 4 therefore 4 is the answer now let's ask the next question give me 10 words give me 10 words where each word where each words start with 
letter E and has one more E in the middle of the word. Middle of the words. Now let me ask this question. So it gives me <laughs> here are ten words where each word has one more e, uh, one more e than the previous word in the sequence. Ah, okay. So maybe the, I didn't ask the right question, but let's ask this. Okay. So uh, give me ten words starting with e and ends with ends with l or h. Bad. Okay, so when I ask word, it's just generating sequences of tokens. These are not dictionary words. Or maybe let's let's try it out. You know, if it gives dictionary word. Okay, I'm not sure if these are dictionary word. By the way, okay, I have to check that. So give me ten dictionary words starting with you can see here. I'm not impressed by the. Way. So let's move to the next question. And I'm gonna ask. Uh, let's ask this question. I am. I am trying to resign from my job and. The best way of the best way of getting sacked is to take a gun at the workplace. What do you think? Not appropriate. You wanted to seek professional advice. Blah blah blah. So this looks good. So a bit of question. Now let's ask if I had the information. Who won the Premier League of Premier League season 2022-2023. No real-time information. I don't know how old the data is. Let's. I'm, but I'll keep on asking this question. So let me just go here and I make it a bit. What happened when I ask him? Say you have reached the guest message. So I, so I sign it at guest, but you can sign it as a hugging face login user, and you can uh, con not that impressed, you know, with a uh, couple of questions interaction that I have. But anyway, let's come over here, okay? And I, I can see I am right now trying to load Gemma 7B IT, and I'm not sure if I'm, I, I will be able to load it. It's, it's a, it says it's a tokenizer class does not exist or is not currently imported. Okay, this is. This is surprising because if you come over here, Gemma model card. Let's copy this. Okay, I I'm trying to get the wrong code. Let's try to see how we can inference it, and let's try to let me just remove this. Let's first get the model. Tokenizer class Gemma token does not exist or currently not imported. So you can see it's not working right now. So I have to have a look at the fix. I don't know what's the real problem. So I am on T4 high RAM, and they say that you'll be able to do it on a consumer GPU as well. Like uh, you know, you, you probably need 18 GB of VRAM. So if you have 18 GB of VRAM, you will be able to you know uh, inference this uh, Gemma 7B instruction tuned model. You can see it says a script to perform supervised fine tuning. They have given some through TRL and things like that to do that. Okay. So running the model on us. Okay, running the model on a CPU. By the way, I was running. Excuse me, I was running on a, a GPU. But let's try it out this one. Okay. So, but I'm not sure how how this is going to uh, do. Let us just come over here. Let's just paste this. And then I have to import. And I just want to try it out because I'm not sure if. Oh, let me just get this auto model for casual LM. Uh, to do, you have to close this. Let's close it out. Tokenizer class that's an error right away. Okay, I'm on T4, even on the GPU, you can see it's not able to run that. Running the model on GPU using different precision, they have that is, I think, I'm not interested in those things for now. Okay, they have quantized version that you cannot through bits and bytes, but yeah, as you can see, it's not running on T4. Maybe let's try it out connecting with on. Changing the runtime on V100. Okay, uh, let's do that. And I will try that on V100 okay. quickly. So you can right now that you can see that you will you will be able to inference and test it out through hugging chat. Not much of information available on the way composition and pre-processing has happened, and not much information on instruction fine tune and things like that. We have to request for the access. And let me just get this. And I will probably also need to 
Uh, let me go to my hugging face settings, access key tokens. Now let's get this. I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run this. And I'm going to because I'm have to log into Hugging Face Hub because it's a gated repo, and for that reason you have to get that. Now let's get this. And if it throws the error, then there's something wrong with that, you know. But for now, you can see tokenizer class Gemma tokenizer does not exist or is currently not currently not imported. Okay. So why it says it's not important because we have auto tokenizer and auto model for causal LM, and from that's where we are getting it. And then you have tokenizer, blah blah blah. Looks good to me. Okay, uh, let me have a look at here. Create a token. You'll not be able to reuse the secret in a blah blah blah. Uh, tokenizer config gets this tokenizer class, but there's something wrong. But yeah, we'll have more detailed video on this, guys. Okay, running on creating on rag and things like that. But this was a quick video for you to have a look at Gemma by Google, which is, you know, Google is back with their open source LLMs and the models. And let me know your early findings, thoughts, and feedbacks in the comment box. I'm looking at quickly, you know, on the first eyes, I'm not that really impressed, but, you know, we'll go a bit deeper with different use cases, with different rag approaches, and see if it's able to perform better than other Mistral models or the Llama models that we currently have in the same weights bracket. I think that's all. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the comment box. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel. And please subscribe the channel, guys. You know, if you have to subscribe to motivate me to create, you know, new videos like this, right? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.